Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. In this video I want to show you how to add a nice theme to our small website here. Um, this video is mostly for people who are lazy or don't know front-end. <laughs> Maybe not necessarily like that, but let's say you just want to do a fast product and fast MVP, you don't want to sit and style everything yourself. This is how you would do that. Uh, let's start up our project. First of all, we're going to use Bootstrapper. And we're going to use a website called Bootswatch. 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 So while that's starting up, let's go to bootswatch.com. Free themes for Bootstrap. Burden on us. Burden on us. All right, let's find the theme first of all that we like. Should we go extra today? Use this the glowy crazy one. Let's do that. Okay, so you find a theme you like. You can uh, click preview and uh, have a look. You're like, whoa! So once you find one you like, you click here with the download the little arrow. You say bootstrap.css. We open this with Notepad. Control A, Control C, copy everything. Now, here's our website. So the first thing we do is we need to add this file. So we say here on our root folder under the CSS, it's a style sheet we're about to add. Add new item. Then we're going to search for style because we don't want to go looking for it in this uh, crazy menu here. So style sheet, and let's call it boot boots watch theme that CSS okay whatever the hell what's what's the name of the actual thing vapor vapor that CSS and then just replace everything boom all right so that's the first step and you could if you wanted to People would say it's a bit overkill to, you know, it's a lot of things. We could add some load to your website. But let's not worry about that now since it's an MVP and uh, we're lazy with our front end. But if you want to know exactly what it does, you go in here and you can check relative units from sizing and all this stuff. So very nice. But now it's not going to change anything. Our website is not going to look any different just by adding this. We need to tell our site to use it. And we do that in the CSHTML file. We do it in our layout.cshtml because this is loaded on every page. So this is currently the bootstrap theme that's being used, or the CSS that's been used for this bootstrap theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this. We're going to say CSS forward slash vapor.css. Save. Now already here, something would have happened. So let's start up and see how it looks like. Just by these two small changes. Let's see. All right. That's pretty neat. And this is just by adding the um, style sheet and the link in our CSHTML file. So some people could stop there and say, okay, that's good enough for me. But not us, because we are shooting for the stars here, my friends. So we want to replace this nav bar. And how would you go about doing that? You go back and you click into preview. Now this preview has everything you need to know for this theme. So let's just start from the top. Here's the nav bars. We're gonna choose one of these. Then you can replace or add styles as buttons. So in our website, you said when you click delete or edit or something, you can, we can make some nice buttons and stuff. And uh, the process of doing this is the same as everything. So I'm going to show you how to replace our menu and some things just to be aware of. And then uh, I leave it up to you guys to add on to the website if you want or change some stuff. Um, I'm going to do uh, here and there uh, during the videos, you know, so you can follow along with me if you want it to look exactly like mine. Uh, for now, I'm going to update the navbar. And I think we're going to maybe add something to um, to the the table also to make that a bit nice. Uh, but yeah, let's start with the, the nav bar. So I would like this 
pretty colorful one. Actually, this one is also pretty fucking dope. You can always change this by changing the classes they use. But let's use this one for now. So we say copy code. We want everything for now. And now here in the layout.cshtml, as you know, this is also where we have in our header section, we have our navbar. So this is the one we currently have. We're going to out comment that for now. Control K, Control C. And paste in the big, the big one here. So if you saw from the preview, it has a search bar and the search thing here, and it has a drop down menu. We're not going to need, we just need normal menu. So because we might want this in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out this part. And this drop down is very easy to read these things. So you see, okay, this is a drop down. We're going to comment out this. So here are the menu items. And you see there's one, two, three, four menu items. And in our old one, we only had one, two, three. So we only need three. So we're going to delete this one. And now you notice this one fills a bit more. It has this. It's because it has this active on it. And what, what does that, that do? Well, what it does is this. Ah, maybe it's a bit hard to see on this one, but basically because home would be selected, so it's more dark here, she's more bright. So if if features had been selected, if I do like this, so we click here. I have a small screen, so if I double line these, so here's the menu, and here you see we open up. So here it says active. You can see that. So it lights up. So if I remove the active from here, it's going to go dark. And then we say, okay, now we, we pretend that we uh, clicked features. I, oh, why didn't that work? Maybe I have to actually fuck that shit for now. But yeah, you can basic, basically, so if this one had gotten the, the active class, it should actually light up like this one did. So you see now it lights up. So anyway, uh, you would use JavaScript to do that. We're, we don't know, we're not gonna fiddle with that for now. We're gonna JavaScript this up later. So let's copy our menu items because we don't want to write everything again. Great, oh wait, what is it? Good artist borrow, great artist steal. Um, boom. All right, so now, actually, let's continue, and then we're, I'm going to, because now we just added something that's going to make it look not nice. But let's just crack on, like I told you guys, and then we're going to look at it later, or after. Just as a debugging thing, maybe it's going to it's gonna help you guys, like, what the fuck. All right, so now we, we replaced the old links with the new so it would work because and now you see very nice, very nice menu, but see how? Why is it dark? We're going to take a look at that. So when you click here, you can see, okay, it looks good. Very nice, very nice. It's all working. Close back down again. So when you see here, these things look a bit different. And why is that? First of all, this was copied along. So this navlink class is uh, perfect. We want that. So like this, now already, uh, we're doing better. But this navbar thing also, we need to update that, and that's up here. It didn't say navbar before. What did we have? There. Thank you. Miniature collection web. We don't want it to say navbar. We want it to say miniature collection web like the other one. And it's going to be home. Like the other one. What did this one? What did this one do? What did this one do? Yeah, so it's basically the same. So we're going to actually... You 
You see Navbar brand is the same, so this we want to replace with this. Perfect. Let's start this bad boy up and see how it looks now. Ta da! Oops. So now if we go back, now it looks like this. But uh, let's say you also want a nice icon. Boot swatch, bootstrap actually also can help you there. So let's go to bootstrap, bootstrap, get bootstrap it's called, get bootstrap, there it is. Icons. Look at all these cool icons. Free to use also. But um, let's click install here. We need to add also a style sheet. So let's copy this style sheet here. You well, Okay, let me explain first what the fuck I did. Go to getbootstrap.com, right? Yeah. Click icons, and then here, there's a small menu here. You click install, it will scroll you all the way down. CDN. Copy the the one here that says link style sheet. Then we go back, and I think you know the drill about this. Append it here. Very nice. Very nice. And let, let's just for simplicity's sake now say that we want a house at the home. So let's go back here. They have a lot. And when you want to find something, you find the filter here on the top. Let's say house. Home is where the heart is. So let's use this one. Oh, fuck that shit. Use house fill. I like this one. Copy the icon here. And now you have it. And then uh, if we want to be a bit anal, I want a space. There we go. Now home has a nice home. Okay, now that we're here, let's see what privacy we can get. Is there a nice privacy icon? I have no idea. Let's just do the whole, whole menu, privacy. Yes. What would be a good one? The shield I like. And the exclamation point, because privacy usually tells you something. Let's use this one. You guys can use whatever you want. I'm going to use this one. The space. And then for miniatures, yeah, good luck finding something with that. What could we call it? miniatures? We could, something you paint. So let's say paint, paintbrush. For people in the hobby, that would make this would make sense. God damn it! This is gonna be good. All right. Look at that shit. That's a nice goddamn menu. This should be something filled, to be honest, to match the thing. But oh, that you guys can do that. That's your homework. <laughs> so this would be the basic way to... Okay, so that's icons, and that's the basic uh, theme here. So this obviously doesn't look so delicious right now. So for the first thing you... Okay, so this is the index, the miniatures index. Uh, Solution Explorer, miniatures index here. So that, this, that's this thing here. So to make this fucking pretty, we were we we're in here. We found so we want these buttons here, nice and bright. Copy the class. And add it here. Let's say. Details could be, which one do we like for details? Info, the info one maybe. And edit, we're gonna use the warning one, because why not? I hope you get the general gist of how this works. 
Save. Yay. So look, details. We get the details. Back to list, edit. Uh, description. Add that. Then we say, no. Delete, delete. So we, we, we keep the functionality, but we add some nice pretty views. So basically what you could do is you can go in and then like, uh, let's just create a new here. So leader, tabletop ready, uh, hits like a truck. Uh, okay, so, and you know, and also if you want, then you say, okay, this is a bit still a bit boring here. So what we do is we go back to to this, whoops, sorry. And we go back here, we say trash. So trash, fill this one. Let's use this one. Copy. I think you know where I'm going with this. Wrong. Fucking website. There, and you see? Very nice. So now you have a trash icon here. You would do some sort of loop for details, maybe, and edit like a pencil. Um, you can make this look very nice. So uh, I'll leave it to you guys, your homework to update, and I hope you found this useful. This is a very nice, fast way to make something look fucking amazing. So in like 20 minutes, you can get a website up and running. You can add database. Uh, and you can uh, get a nice view up and going. I mean, there's no excuse anymore. So go out there and uh, make something nice and awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.